Hi Libra, getting ready to do your reading. This is May 10th through the 16th. All right. You have the Four of Coin in reverse, the Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, and the Moon. Okay, this is energy of, honestly, possible some of you may either hear from someone from the past or go to back to the past yourself or just someone you know. This can be energy of, like I see someone dating someone just briefly just to get over the past or they're kind of, you're confused right now. You don't know really what to do with Seven of Cups and Moon. You're letting go of a situation or a person with a Four of Coin or you're just not thinking about it anymore. Your foundation though is a Knight of Swords. So that I mean, that could be your energy, but it's a fast energy. So that's why I'm seeing the Knight of Swords with the Six of Cups could be someone goes to the past quickly, maybe revisits somebody. Um, Empress, Three of Wands, Ten of Coin, Two of Wands in the Chariot. What is the Three of? Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here. So some of you may be getting over past relationship with the four of coin in reverse. If not, I see somebody is going to go to the past for a brief moment because you forgot how that person was. So what happens is you're like, well, okay, we'll give it one more chance or we'll go out one more time. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, now I know I broke up with them. Now I know why we're not together. So that could be a week of that where your, your ex or someone you knew wants to go out one more time, wants to try again, and you're going to realize that it's not working and you don't want to be with them. You do have something else coming in with the lovers and three of wands, and you do have something much better, just so you know. When I see the moon card, that can be about secrets. It can be things behind the scenes. It can be confusion. So that might be why some of, for some of you, like, visiting your past or an ex or something like that they may show up or you may go communicate with them that's why it's there it's no big deal it's what I'm feeling but once you're around them you're like oh yeah I'm, I let go of that person a long time ago I don't need to go back with them definitely yeah you have the six of swords so you are moving ahead so this is definitely a week for you, Libra, for those of you that need to release some type of relationship or person, um, get away from a, a situation that was maybe confusing also, because you have better things coming in. When you have the Ten of Coin here and the Empress, this is about being treated well, being treated better than what you were, uh, leaving the past behind and knowing that you need to move forward. What is the Ten of Coin for Libra? What is the Ten of Coin? Ten of Cups, being very happy. Okay. Ace, yeah, Six of Coin, going to something new and stable. Okay, this is very, um, under the deck there is an Emperor and Temperance in reverse. So some of you are dealing with an Aries or someone who's just very stubborn and you've lost patience with them. You don't want to deal with them anymore. So you have decided or you will decide this week that it's time to move away from this person. Again, it might be a Cancer. If I had with the uh, chariot there. All right, let me let me pull from a different deck because that's very generic reading right there. It's like I would like a little more details. All right, Libra. What does Libra need to know and love this week, Libra? Okay, you have the four of swords with the seven of coin and two of Point. Again, some of the same energy, reviewing something, maybe not communicating with someone or someone is not communicating with you and deciding what, which path to take, what to do next with the two of coin. So somebody is, is thinking about a relationship. could be someone else, but it could be you. And it's like, should you invest in this? Now, Empress to me is about someone who has a lot of options. So don't stay in a relationship that you're unhappy in Libra. Because this would tell me that you could easily replace someone who's not treating you well you can move on 
find someone better. Okay, let me keep going here. Okay, you have a king of wands in reverse. So for some of you, you are dating a very um, possessive, a very self-centered fire sign. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Also, this person may, uh, when they're, you're out with them, they flirt with everyone else. They talk to everyone else. This can be a guy or a girl. It does not matter. But I feel that you're coming up as an empress upright, and this person is coming up as a king of wands reversed. Obviously, with ten of swords next to it, it's saying that this is over. So this also might be a week where they do one more thing. You know, you feel stabbed in the back. You may feel hurt, uh, maybe annoyed. But know that this person, when they come up in the reverse, they are not seeing things correctly. They're not acting right. So let me move on. Yeah, King of Cups, Queen of Wands, Eight of Okay, so some of you may be in love with a water sign, but more specifically, this is someone you may view as, you know, the, the romantic partner, the best, you know, the one that you really would like to be with, the lover. But this person is with someone else. This person is with another fire sign. So they are technically trapped. Now, either you're thinking about this person being with them and you want this person here and you can't have them because they're already dating or they're already married, or this person could be unhappy in this relationship also. Either way, I'm seeing that there is somebody else around you that either you're interested in them or they're interested in you, but you, the timing is wrong. You guys can't be together because there is someone else here, the queen of wands. So you're hoping that this King of Cups, and again, this can be a Queen of Cups because it's a general reading. You want them to leave this Queen of Wands so you can be with them. Now, for some of you, there's possibility that there could be a third party situation going on and you are already involved with this person and they are not divorcing their spouse. Let me see what else comes up. Yeah, relationship. Because see, as I'm seeing, someone is involved in a relationship and they feel like they cannot get out. And I feel like you want to be with that King of Cups, but they're already taken. You're losing your strength, Ten of Coin. You feel trapped, the Devil card. Some of you may already be with a Capricorn also, Five of Swords. Some of you may have the stability in your life right now, though, and that's the problem. By le that's what keeps you with them. But if someone has, like, the say in the decisions, they, like, I don't want to say they have more power than you because I don't feel that. I feel like there's some something that you feel trapped in. I feel like someone is taking advantage of you also, Libra, the Five of Swords. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like someone is doing this to you. And it could be this king of wands here, king or queen. But I feel like you're stuck in something because maybe there's family involved. There could be children involved. Uh, you feel secure there. It may have something to do with your job or work. You're losing strength because you do want to get out of the situation. But again, you're feeling trapped. So either someone is, to me, is being very self-serving and self-centered with that five of swords. They may not be treating you well because of that. Um, because they know you can't leave or you won't leave. But you feel cold. You feel left out in the cold in this relationship. So some of you are definitely, some of you are definitely married in relationships where you feel left out in the cold. Someone is um, it's very selfish and self-centered. You may be angry also at your partner and you may also lash out though with the five of swords. We have nine of swords in reverse, not worrying, not thinking about this so much. Wheel of fortune. So you do have some change coming in with the wheel of fortune. Things are going to move because you do have that ten of swords here. So it does tell me that there's something ending and you could um, end it also if you want to, as opposed to staying in it. Yeah, you have the fool. What's coming out the fool? Listen to your intuition. 
So the high priestess can be secrets. She can be listening to your intuition, knowing that something is over. So some of you may be staying in a relationship that's toxic and you know it's over. Um, you may question if it's the right thing to do to leave. And this is saying it is. It's time to move on. It's okay. You don't, you don't need to worry about this. You may be being treated badly and you feel left out in the cold. But maybe you don't know what to do. Maybe you feel overwhelmed. So I can definitely see here that some of you... Some of you, this may not correspond with your life and that's okay. Some of you just may be stuck in something that is just not working and you're very unhappy, but you don't feel like you should leave it. You could be the mom, so you don't feel like you should go. You may worry about finances, that type of thing, but you are losing strength. You do have two tens here in the devil, so there definitely is something here that's not working and, and should end if you can. Because with five of swords, someone could be you know, saying negative things to you, very hurtful things treating you badly with a five of coin next to it. You do have the nine of swords in reverse though, because I feel like nine of swords, you, you probably are worrying though. Maybe you're worrying quite a, quite a bit, but you're hiding it, but it does have the wheel of fortune with the fool. It's like, this is the time to go. You may have a window of opportunity coming in. It could be with family with the 10 of coin or even friends, but they may be open to helping or letting you stay with them. But Seven of Cups tells me that you may feel overwhelmed right now. You're not sure what direction to take. Some of you, you may not be in a horrible situation. You're just unhappy. And it is, but it's saying it is time to move on. You have the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. You know what to do with the High Priestess. You know, listen to your intuition. There's better things out there. Seven of Cups. Put more card there. Knight of Swords. So again, Knight of Swords, I mean, make a plan. I feel like I feel like some of you don't have a plan in, in motion. So just don't do anything crazy with the Knight of Swords and just take off. Make a plan first. Again, that is your energy though, is also what I'm seeing here. So I feel like it is time to like take the action that you wanted you want to take, that you know you want to take in your heart. Um, this person here, if this resonates, if you, if there is someone else you like or love and they are with another person and they may even be married, this is showing me they're going to stay. Okay. So don't wait for someone that is in a relationship. They may be saying they're going to leave or divorce. They are not. This tells me they are not going to leave that person. They're going to stay put. So do not waste your life waiting for them. If I had the tower here, that would tell me, okay, they're going to split probably death you know, all those cards. Hierophant tells me, no, that they are stuck in a relationship. Even if this, they're unhappy, they're going to stay. So you need to also move forward with your life and not wait for them. All right, Libra, have a great week and take care.